Hey guys, I am down in my chicken coop to collect some eggs today and I'm realizing where the heck am I going to put these. I've got over six dozen eggs in my fridge already. So I kind of have a plan. I bought some things that I think I'm going to freeze the eggs with so that I can have them next winter. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that and what I'm using and maybe you guys will want to try it too. But let's grab what eggs we have so far today. Oh, and you will see, I took down the nesting box that was right here and kind of broken from my last video. It was too broken to fix and it was too high. Some of the pellets had been using it to sleep in and were pooping in it a lot. So I dropped this one down as well. And then they just have one less nesting box, which is okay because I'm actually kind of... <laughs> planning on completely rearranging this again this summer when I have time and then I guess the other thing we should go over while I'm in here is how did the Aspen bedding pellets from Mana Pro work out in the nesting box well as I kind of figured it didn't work out that's too hard they didn't like it for laying eggs in which is fine I just wanted to see if maybe they would lay their eggs in there. They just want to stand in there and poop, which, I mean, I guess if they want to poop in one spot, but... So, tomorrow is my, clo my coop clean-out day, so I will just take all of that and put it on the floor in here. I think I'm actually going to do my spring, my big spring clean-out, because it's going to be really nice this weekend, so maybe I'll make a video of that. That's Cecilia. <laughs> being really chatty right now um so yeah let's get our eggs and then the next video you see will probably be spring clean out of the coop so i've got three up here so far and this is freya you hiding any eggs have those so two more eggies so that was five so far today oh you're okay sweetie so five eggs so far today like I said I've been getting about I don't know if I said that I've been getting about nine to twelve eggs a day between my 18 birds so they're just kind of you know one about every other day for them and then they're picking up production sometimes they'll lay every day sometimes they won't it is what it is, so let's go in the house now and I will show you what I'm going to use to freeze my eggs. So here are all the eggs I have right now. You can see there's six dozen in the cartons and then there's a bunch in here. I don't even know how many, at least another dozen. And I know my chickens, a few of them still need to lay yet today. I've been collecting between nine and 12 eggs a day, which is pretty good because I have 18 chickens. So, you know, usually they lay an egg about one every other day. So I have a few that are doing a little more frequently than that. That works for me. Now, we don't eat eggs every day. I'd say most mornings we eat eggs, but not every day. So what the heck am I gonna do with all these? The easy option would be to sell them but our next door neighbor sells eggs and I just think it would be a little rude to also be like, hey, guess what? <laughs> We're selling eggs too. And then my other problem is I don't want to have to buy eggs in the winter when the hen's production slows down and I'm only getting two or three eggs a day. So what I'm going to do is crack a bunch of these open and freeze them and they'll be good for a long time like that in the freezer and then I will have them ready to go for you know breakfast for scrambled eggs I don't know that I would bake with them especially because I'm going to kind of whisk them together so kind of hard to measure out one egg per that but that's that's gonna be the solution to my <laughs> overabundance to eggs is freezing them so I will show you guys what I'm gonna use and then you can follow along 
So these are the containers that I'm going to be using to freeze my eggs in. I think I'll be able to fit about five or six eggs in each of these, which is perfect for our family for a breakfast. They do also have a larger size, which I've been using like crazy to save all of our produce from the garden last year and other random things around the house that I need to save. I haven't had anything freezer burn and these are also dishwasher safe, which is really nice. And they're cheap. You get a bunch for not a lot of money and they work really well. It's not a cheap product that's gonna break right away. So now I'm going to get to cracking the eggs. Okay, so the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to save all the eggshells after I crack these. I got a pan with some parchment paper. I'm gonna put the eggshells on this and then when I'm done, they're gonna go in the oven. I never pay attention to how long I cook them for, but they're gonna go in the oven for a bit until they're nice and dry and brittle. And then I'll crunch them up and they get food in the garden and some of them will get fed back to the chickens. It just adds calcium. Um, because I know someone's gonna ask, yes, that is a washing machine in my living room. We're in the process of switching out the washer and dryer that we have. And this one's going to my little brother who just bought a house and has like a really old washer and dryer. And we just haven't gotten it out of the house to take to his yet. So for now, there's a washing machine in my dining room. I know dining table and it's awesome. <laughs> cups worth that about six to seven eggs per each a lot of my pellet eggs are still pretty small so they fit more I think they were all bigger eggs that would have fit six really nice so I'm going to spread these out a bit and then one of the things I use the bigger containers for is actually freezing the eggshells so that they're not steaming up somewhere so now I'm going to take the stash that I had in the freezer and add that to this I like to bake a big tray of them at once so that I'm not you know, doing this every day or every few days. So I just freeze the shells until I have a big enough batch. The cat over there spying on us, by the way, is Jace Michael. He's our oldest cat. All of our cats are adopted, so we don't know the exact ages, but he's between 9 and 12. He just had surgery two weeks ago to remove some infected teeth. But he's doing great. So these will just get spread out. I do like to put the parchment paper down, otherwise they can stick to the pan a little bit because there is some stuff. If you like wash your eggs, the eggshells, you might not have a problem with them sticking to the pan, but that's too much work for me. Here are the eggs in the cups. I'm gonna put lids on them quick and then they will get stacked up and put in the freezer. So you can see the other nice thing about these is that they stack really nicely, so it makes keeping them in the freezer really simple. Um, you probably could fit another egg or two in here, in each one, depending on the size. So you know, if you have a bigger family and you need to store seven or eight eggs in each of these containers, you probably could. We just, we don't eat more than six eggs per meal. That would be a lot of eggs and I don't wanna be wasteful. Um, and again, there are the bigger containers there. If you have a huge family and you need to store a bunch of these, the bigger containers would probably store three times as much pretty easily. Okay, so these just got done in the oven. Let them cool for a while. Otherwise, they're going to be really hot and you'll burn yourself. Put them. So just crank up. Really easy. Can be a little sharp, so 
be aware of that. But I'm just going to get these crunched up and then throw them in the garden. So as you can see, I literally just have been throwing the eggshells in the garden over the winter. and the summer, I will mix it in with soil around where I'm planting or put it in my compost bin. But for now, I've just been chucking it over the garden fence. And then in the summer, I'm going to have <laughs> random piles of eggshells all over in the garden. But it's not going to hurt it. The extra calcium is good for everything. And to end today's video, here's Titan James. My very handsome old man. He's going to be eight this year. <laughs> he is enjoying the sunshine and breeze today. Titan, are you so handsome? He knows he is. But thank you for watching, guys.